In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to remove and install the Volvo iShift TECU, clutch actuator valve, and clutch actuator. The information covered is in the Weller iShift Transmission Owner's Manual and can be found on every iShift transmission or is conveniently located on our website. Disconnect the air supply hose and wire harness from the TECU. Remove all cover bolts and mounting bolts. Lift the back of the TECU from the lower control housing to gain access to the ribbon cable. Damage to the ribbon cable will occur if the top cover slides forward or is lifted too high while disconnecting the cable. Unbolt the valve and disconnect the position sensor wiring. Remove the locking clip, then exit the air hose through the side of the transmission. Unbolt and remove the clutch actuator. Your Weller iShift exchange will come with a protecting cover, gaskets, bolts, and a high temperature pilot bearing. Verify the two solenoid valve seals are correctly seated. Install the new O-ring into the lower control housing. Align the top cover gasket, then position the TECU and connect the ribbon cable. Again, damage to the cable will occur if the top cover slides forward or is lifted too high while connecting the ribbon. Torque the six 13 millimeter bolts in a diagonal pattern to 18 foot-pounds. Torque the 14 15 millimeter bolts in a diagonal pattern to 81 foot-pounds. Install the clutch actuator and torque the bolts to 33 foot-pounds. Replace the two O-rings on the clutch actuator air hose. Insert the hose through the side of the transmission and secure with the locking clip. Verify the clutch valve O-rings are seated and free of debris. Connect the position sensor wiring. Install the three valve mounting bolts and torque to 15 foot-pounds. Connect the wire harness to the TECU. An audible click will be heard verifying the harness is properly secured. Install the air supply hose to the valve in the TECU. To assist with transmission installation, you will need to compress the clutch actuator. First, loosen the clutch valve service plug. Then firmly compress the clutch actuator, holding in place while retightening the service plug. After installation, there are two reset functions that need to be performed. Using the Volvo Premium Tech Tool, perform a clutch calibration and a gear relearn. If you have any questions, refer to the iShift Owner's Manual. Visit our website at www.wellertruck.com, call 1-800-872-6697, or email info at wellertruck.com.